Filipino sa Black Lives Matter? Ireland. I mean, yes. I have a, a listen, guys. So funny. I have a very close Irish friend living in London, mm. and I took a Ronan, you, I mean, in Ireland, I don't know anybody. You have to make promotion for me. Is, is your family big? Is your family yeah, exactly. big? Can you please send all, through all the, the cousins? All the all cousins, the... everybody. <laughs> send my video and my songs. Uh, I need promotion in Ireland. Anyway, I'm very glad to have you here. Well, we're happy to have you here. We yes. might be Americans, but we've got Ireland in heart right now. So Eurovision Ireland fans, I am here with the absolutely fantastic Serhat, representing San Marino, but he's a man, an international man of mystery and, and wonderment. <laughs> coming from, coming from, from Turkey. Turkey, Istanbul. Yeah, exactly. Istanbul. So I, I got to ask the big question. How does a, a man, a television producer and musician from Turkey end up working with San Marino? Did they come to you? Did you come to yeah. them? Did it mm. a oh. mysterious meeting on a corner somewhere? How, uh, how many hours? we have to talk oh about boy. this oh boy I think the people <laughs> wanting to interview you outside might exactly. be a little upset <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a, first of all I, I will give I will try to give short answers oh. <laughs> first of all yes thank you so much uh, with all this nice um, words you are introducing me it's true. Uh, I hope I deserve it but <laughs> on the other hand yes I'm a mm, I'm a hyperactive person yeah. I I had a dentistry education, I'm a dentist, and then changing my life into show business. So I'm a very brave person. Mm. Uh, I like to work hard. This is the yeah. real Serhat. And I can't act, I'm this, only this. If ah. you like it, that's all. This is the package. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing more, nothing less. It is what it and is. Uh, the show biz, yes, it was, even as I was studying at German high school in Istanbul, I was dreaming to do something like that. But uh, have you been to the meet and greet? Me uh, so I talked there. Just very something. briefly, yes. very briefly. Yeah, I thought that, okay, I wanted uh, to do something else maybe, but I thought that then, no, you have to study something very serious and respectful and then choose dentistry. Mm -hmm. It was my choice. I never regret it, but it was my choice, maybe not the right one. And, uh, but during the, the dentistry study, all my friends knew much better than, than I, so they wrote in my yearbook, okay, good luck in life, but we will applaud you on the stage somewhere ah, one day. They, they, knew. Knew my, they knew it. They, they, too, knew, they, it. they knew the future. Yes. <laughs> and regarding San Marino, of course, uh, because I am the host of Je and producer of Jeopardy in mm -hmm. Turkey, so uh, I'm not bad in quiz shows, so, and San Marino was one of the questions. Ah. <laughs> but I was not sure, I mean, how it happened. Uh, I had a French uh, hit last year, yeah. uh, Jemador, and it worked very well in Germany, especially in five weeks, uh, number one in dance DJ charts. So in, in the French version. French version, which can is, you imagine? This is very unique. Yeah. And uh, in some other countries too. So the San Marino's television uh, noticed that, they contacted my manager, I have an Italian manager. Okay. So they came to me, I thought it's a joke. <laughs> oh, come on, I mean, Marco, what are you telling ah. me? This is uh, San Marino, meet Eurovision Song Contest. Ha, 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 this is very funny. Right. Uh, but he said, no, it's, uh, I'm talking to you seriously. And then we came together. I thought, I felt so privileged. Can you imagine? Another country is it's asking you to you represent out. them at the Eurovision Song Contest. Mm -hmm. What a trust. Come on, it is really... Uh, I will never forget this. This is it gives me more power, more energy, of course, more responsibility. Mm. But I'm so honored to have this offer from San Marino's television. Had you ever considered Eurovision before? I mean, you've been releasing music for quite a few years. Yes, but, but uh, listen, uh, in Turkey, I'm I'm not singing in Turkish, mm. so I don't uh, belong to this Turkish musicians group, which are also very good. And uh, if Turkish broadcaster would choose somebody, it's more for sure from the Turkish singing groups. Uh, yeah. I think so. Anyway, this is my opinion. But on the other hand, it was I'm a Eurovision fan for many years. I mean, many years. It's really many years, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> so, and I, I can be a professor of Eurovision. Ah, welcome to the club. But, yes, exactly. You are, you are in, you are in uh, your element. You can now. ask me anything. Which winner? What time? So, oh. only the words I can do. I mean, <laughs> you can make a quiz with me. I, well, well, well what is your favorite Eurovision song ever, then? Ever. The, the big question. That's you like know, the it's, first. It is for me a very big meaning because I started to watch Eurovision as eight years old Aww. in 1974. Serhat Kuchuk. Yes, Kuchuk Serhat. Serhat. And mm -hmm. with my sister, it was black and white television. Uh. And I said, like that. 
<laughs> I told my sister, how nice I cannot speak English at that age, so what nice and Appa won. Uh, I cannot forget this moment. So it's, uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. Abba is for me still uh, the number one because it is another uh, connection to my life. Mm -hmm. It's the first Eurovision, but there are so many good songs. Oh, I, yeah. I have a good uh, playlist of Eurovision. Fabulous, fabulous. Now you have worked as a TV producer. Uh, we mentioned we mentioned Jeopardy, which I have a very soft spot. I was on the American version of Jeopardy about ten years ago. So. I don't believe you. With Alex, you, yes, you, with Alex. He's you were con uh, contest. Uh, I was a contestant. I one day champion. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. I know. That's, you know, it's, we have it's another fate. link. It to is each fate. Other. Yes, Aww. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> has, your, has your point of view as a TV host and a producer, has that kind of informed the way that you've approached your Eurovision entry? I uh, think so. It's very important. You know, I'm more than 20 years on the stage in, mm -hmm. in front of cameras. I made huge shows in television in front of millions. Mm -hmm. It's a very good basis for Eurovision Song Contest. Today I said something and then I said, oh my God, I am so rude because I thought uh, there is a, one of the delegation, a very lovely girl giving me water after all the rehearsals oh. and said, did you like it? Yes, the stage is nice, but very small. I said, small? I said, I said okay. It's it's good. It's normal <laughs> because it's really. I mean, I I have the privilege to perform on very big stages yeah. in my life. So it's not small, of course. But I wanted to have a sense of humor. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's it's a very important basis uh, because I feel very confident uh, on the stages under the lights. It's, it's like my home. And I always say, you know, I am a guy who feels himself more comfortable in smoking than in pyjamas. And that is also, I feel, more comfortable on big stages with mm -hmm. high technology than a small stage with, uh, with just, just the one like exactly. <laughs> It's both are nice, but I feel more comfortable. I suppose when you've seen things from behind the scenes yeah, and you yeah. know how everything I works, know, having exactly, the comfort of knowledge. Exactly. This is also for me easy because I'm a festival organizer myself. Yeah. I made Mediterranean song contests, high school music contests. I know what's going on behind this, but this mm -hmm. is perfect here. I have to say bravo. Yeah. I mean, they are doing so good job here, so it's not easy. So, But I, I'm so glad this time I'm enjoying myself as an artist, as, well as a just an artist, nothing else. Ah, <laughs> just a relief, a big deep yes. breath that you can take yes. and enjoy Sweden, the land that gave you your love of Eurovision. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's you know so lovely to be here because this is a once in a lifetime experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, and I want to enjoy it with all of you because mm -hmm. it's um, once in Georgia I said something I made my promotion to mm -hmm. and they said, what is the winning for you? Of course I would like to win. I mean, everyone here, 42 countries, unfortunately it was 43 but not yeah, 42, uh, but all the countries want to win. But I'm already a winner. You're here. I You're win here. hearts of people in Georgia. I met nice people. I think our this is this is winning i mean this is this is more important winning because it will stay forever you see that is the kind of attitude that i love seeing in in the artists you know guys if you are interested in serhat and want to follow his career what is the best way to get in touch with your career and to follow your music from around the world yeah actually uh, i have uh, of course social media it's the most easy as well and for me it is serhat HPO always in my accounts. You oh, yeah, can, your, your last name. But uh, I'm sure it's easy to find me. I mean, in Instagram, in Twitter, in Facebook, uh, everywhere. Uh, I'm not the person who is uh, just hiding himself. I think it's also not the right strategy. Even mm -hmm. some friends of mine in Turkey, they are doing this. I don't know. We are doing our job like a doctor does its job. Or a dentist who's this become a singer, exactly. who's become a producer. Come on. I mean, <laughs> no one, we are privileged, we are getting more love than the others, but then you have to give more love, we have more responsibility as an That's artist to your to audience. It. That's a fair way to say it. And you guys at home, if you've liked what Serhat has had to say, and if you liked the conversations that we're having here, be sure to follow us, EurovisionIreland.net. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Yeah. We love you. Get in touch with us. <laughs> okay. Serhat, Thank you so much. Çok teşekkür ederim. Ben teşekkür ederim. How, I don't, you, you speak Irish or you know some Irish words? Uh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> I can't broadcast those words. Okay. No, 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 we were talking, no, no, no. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, uh, Ireland is a country I've never been before. You should. But, but of course, but Irish, okay, all the Irish characters in the movies from uh. Gone with the Wind, Scarlett O'Hara, or the oh my God, I have to go there. It's uh, it's very interesting. So I wish that I can well, go there after Eurovision. I think I speak on behalf of Irish people everywhere, even though I myself am not lucky enough to be Irish. You would always be welcome. Perfect. Thank Perfect. you so much, Serhat. Thank you. All the best. Okay. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Okay, you're coming. Take this picture.